In pole position we have... There's been a collision with Fernando Alonso. There's, there's been a collision with Villeneuve. He's made heavy contact with Hakkinen. He's made heavy contact with Coulthard. He's made heavy contact with Schumacher. There's been a collision with Panis. He's made heavy contact with Barrichello. He's made heavy contact with Heinz Harold Frensen. He's made heavy contact with Trulli. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Alessi. He's made heavy contact with Irvine. He's made heavy contact with Bertie. He's made heavy contact with Ralph Schumacher. He's made heavy contact with Montoya. He's made heavy contact with Giancarlo Fisichella. He's made heavy contact with Button. He's made heavy contact with Jean Alessi. He's made heavy contact with Mazzacani. He's made heavy contact with Heidfeldt. He's made heavy contact with Raikkonen. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Mazzacani. He's made heavy contact with Bernoldi. He's made heavy contact with Verstappen. He's made heavy contact with Fernando Alonso. He's, he's made heavy contact with Villeneuve. He's made heavy contact with Panis. He's touched the barrier. Hit the barrier. I think he's touched the armco there. My word, he was lucky not to spin there. I think there was a contact with the barrier, but he's managed to hold the car. Oh, no. He's been overtaken by Heidfeld. And both cars touched there. There's been contact between both cars. I think there was contact there. It was inevitable that there'd be contact then. The cars were very close together as they went into the corner. Their wheels have touched. They've touched wheels. He's made contact with Hakkinen's McLaren. There was definite contact with Coulthard's McLaren then. And he's just hit Michael Schumacher. And he's just hit Barrichello. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Raikkonen. He's made contact with Frensen. And he's just hit Trulli. He's just hit Irvine. He's made contact with Bertie. That's Ralph Schumacher who was hit then. He's made contact with Montoya. And he's just hit Fisichella. Button's been hit. There was contact with Alessi there. He's made contact with Mazzacani. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Bernoldi. Contact with Heidfeld. He's made contact with Raikkonen. And he's just hit Bernoldi. He's made contact with Verstappen. And he's just hit Fernando Alonso. He's hit Villeneuve, and he's just hit Panis. Leading the championship we have. Leading the championship we have. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Verstappen. And in first place is... And in first place is... Moving into top place in the championship is... Moving into top place in the championship is... Climbs into first position. Second position is... Second place in the championship is... Second place in the championship is... Is in second place. Is in second place. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Fernando Alonso. Moving up into second position is... Dropping back into second place is... In third position, is in third place, is in third place. Third place is taken by, third place is taken by, moves into third place, drops back into third position. In fourth place, and fourth place in the championship is, climbing into fourth position is, fourth place in the championship is, climbing into fourth position is, climbing into fourth position is, Dropping down to fourth, in fifth position is, in fifth position is, in fifth place we have, moving up into fifth place is, oh no, he's been overtaken by Villeneuve. In fifth place we have, moving up into fifth place is, dropping back into fifth place is, let's take a look at the driver's championship table. Now we'll have a look at the driver's championship table. Here's how the driver's championship looks. Here's how the driver's championship looks. He's just having a look at the circuit, I think. That's another lap. Another lap completed. Oh, no, he's been overtaken by Panis. Taking up third position is another superb lap time. An incredible lap. A great lap, but is it enough for pole position? That's more like it. A great lap. He's really studied this track and his time show it. That was a very fast lap. That's an excellent lap time. Excellent lap time there. He needs to keep it tidy to bring the sector times down. Well, 
He had trouble on that lap and his time reflects it. Yes, it's a black flag. They've disqualified him. He, he, he drops back to second. He's dropped back to third place. He's dropped back to third place. He drops back to fourth. Drops back to second. Drops back to fourth. He's back down into fifth place. He's back down into fifth place. I don't know about the black flag. He should get the black spot after that terrible bit of driving. He's now down to sixth place. He's now down to sixth place. And he's down to seventh. And he's down to seventh. He's now down to eighth position. He's now down to eighth position. He's back down into ninth position. He's back down into ninth position. And he's down to tenth. And he's down to tenth. And Hakkinen receives a black flag. He drops back into 11th. He drops back into 11th. He's now down to 12th position. He's now down to 12th position. He drops back to 13th. He drops back to 13th. He's back down into 14th position. He's back down into 14th position. He's back down into 15th position. He's back down into 15th position. David Coulthard gets a black flag. I'm not sure what's happened, but he'll be furious with himself. He's lost his place. He's down to 16th now. He's lost his place. He's down to 16th now. He's back down into 17th position. He's back down into 17th position. He's lost his place. He's now down to 18th. He's lost his place. He's now down to 18th. He drops back to 19th. He drops back to 19th. And he's down to 20th. And he's down to 20th. Michael Schumacher gets a black flag. I'm not sure what's happened, but he'll be furious with himself. He's dropped back into 21st. And now he's down to 21st. And now he's down to 22nd position. And now he's down to 22nd position. Mika Hakkinen, David Coulthard, Michael Schumacher, Rubens Barrichello, Heinz Harold Frensen, Jarno Trulli, Rubens Barrichello. He's shown a black flag. Eddie Irvine, Luciano Berti, Ralph Schumacher, Juan Pablo Montoya, Giancarlo Fisichella, Jensen Button, Jean Alesi, Matsukane, Nick Heidfeld, Kimi Raikkonen and Heinz Harold Frensen shown a black flag. Enrique Benaldi, Jos Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Minardi, Jacques Villeneuve, Olivier Panis. There's traffic all over the racing line. He won't be happy. He's going to have to deal with some slower cars on the track. Oh no, he's been bought by the traffic. There's traffic ahead of him. Will they get in his way? Jarno Trulli's shown a black flag. Oh, no. It looks like he's going to hit some traffic. He's on a flying lap. This traffic won't please him at all. There's some traffic ahead, but I don't think it'll affect this flying lap. Shouldn't be affected by the slower cars. They're far enough ahead. Well, that traffic has really slowed him down. He should have waited until the traffic cleared. Oh dear, he was really flying, but the traffic's ruined that lap. He's up to first. He's in first. He's up to second. Eddie Irvine gets a black flag. I'm not sure what it's for, though. He's in second. He moves into third place. He's in third. He's in fourth. He's up to fourth. He's in fifth. He moves into fifth place. He moves into sixth position. He moves into sixth position. He's in seventh. And Bertie shown a black flag in third. And he moves into seventh position. He's in eighth. He's in eighth. He's in ninth. He's up to ninth. He's in tenth. He's in tenth. He's in eleventh. He's up to eleventh. He's in twelfth. And Ralph Schumacher's shown the black flag. He moves into 12th position. He's in 13th. He moves into 13th place. He's up to 14th. He's up to 14th. He's in 15th. He moves into 15th place. He's in 16th. He moves into 16th position. He's in 17th. And Montoya's shown a black flag. 
He moves up into 17th place. He's in 18th. He moves into 18th position. He's in 19th. He's up to 19th. He's in 20th. And he moves into 20th position. He's in 21st. He's in 21st. He's in 22nd. And Giancarlo Fisichella has shown a black flag. He's in 22nd. The back markers are going to make this interesting. The back markers should let him through. Now he's got to cope with all this traffic. Keep cool amongst the back markers. Back to the pits. He'll be very happy with that last effort, an outstanding performance. He'll be pleased with those few laps. I think he's going back to the pits for a sit and a think. Well, he knows there's some work to be done if he's going to improve his grid position. Heads for the pit garage. Button's been black flagged. Back to the pit. Will that time get him on the front row of the grid? He's off to the pit to look at the telemetry. He's about to start his flying lap. On to his flying lap then. Let's hope his flying lap isn't spoiled by traffic. Hackinen begins his flying lap. Coulthard begins his flying lap. Schumacher begins his flying lap. Rubens Barrichello begins his flying lap. Heinz Harold Frenson begins his flying lap. I don't think Alesi's seen the marshals, but he's been given a black flag. Trulli begins his flying lap. Irvine begins his flying lap. Bertie begins his flying lap. Ralph Schumacher begins his flying lap. Montoya begins his flying lap. Giancarlo Fisichella begins his flying lap. Button begins his flying lap. Jean Alesi begins his flying lap. Matsakani begins his flying lap. Heidfeld begins his flying lap. Mazakans been given a black flag. Raikkonen begins his flying lap. Enrique Benaldi begins his flying lap. Verstappen begins his flying lap. Fernando Alonso begins his flying lap. Cool. Villeneuve begins his flying lap. Panis begins his flying lap. Hakkonen, Fard. Schumacher, that's Heidfeld being shown a black flag there. Barrichello, Frenson, Trulli, Irvine, Bertie, Schumacher, Montoya, Fisichella, Button, Alesi, Raikkonen, has been given a black flag. Matsukane, Heidfeld, Raikkonen, Enrique Benaldi, Verstappen, Fernando Alonso, Minardi, Villeneuve, Panis. What does he think he's doing? He's driving through the pits the wrong way. Bernoldi has shown the black flag and that's a blow for him. That's not the entrance. What's he doing? That's not the way. He's got it all back to front. He hasn't managed it this time. He won't get past like that. No, he'll have to bide his time and wait for the right moment. He can't get past at all. There's no way he's going to let him through. You know, I think he's starting to catch up. Bit by bit, he's increasing his lead. And Verstappen's shown the black flag. Terrible luck. Fourth position for... If he's not careful, he'll lose another place. He's intent on winning this race. He's pulling away now. Can anyone catch him? Hakkinen is beginning to pull away from the field. David Coulthard is beginning to pull away from the field. Schumacher is beginning to pull away from the field. Barrichello is beginning to pull away from the field. Heinz Harold Frenson is beginning to pull away from the field. Trulli is beginning to pull away from the field. Irvine is beginning to pull away from the field. Fernando Alonso is being shown a black flag. He will not be happy. Bertie is beginning to pull away from the field. Ralph Schumacher is beginning to pull away from the field. Montoya is beginning to pull away from the field. Giancarlo Fisichella is beginning to pull away from the field. Button is beginning to pull away from the field. Jean Alesi is beginning to pull away from the field. Matsukani is beginning to pull away from the field. Raikkonen is beginning to pull away from the field. Heidfeld is beginning to pull away from the field. Bernoldi is beginning to pull away from the field. This Verstappen is beginning to pull away from the field. Fernando Alonso is beginning to pull away from the field. What? Villeneuve is beginning to pull away from the field. Panis is beginning to pull away from the field. I don't believe it. He's going the wrong way. What is he doing? 
does he think he's doing? He's driving round the wrong way of the track. He's going the wrong way. This is madness. Villeneuve has shown a black flag. I just hope he doesn't cause a pile-up. He's going the wrong way. Crazy. It looks like he's going again. He's going to try and beat that time on this next lap. Hackenham is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. David Coulthard is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Schumacher is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Barrichello is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Heinz Harold Frenson is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Truly is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Panis shown a black flag. Irvine is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Bertie is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Ralph Schumacher is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Montoya is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Giancarlo Fisichella is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Button is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Jean Alesi is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Matsukani is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Heidfeld is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Raikkonen is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. This is getting very silly now. The blue flags have been out for some time, yet he still won't move out of the way. Surely he needs to be penalised, Martin. Bernoldi is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Verstappen is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Fernando Alonso is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. Pat Villeneuve is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. He's into the wall. He's into the barrier. Whoops. Let's hope he's OK after that collision. Dennis is fully committed now. He must be doing another flying lap. He's really testing out the tyre walls. The front runners are closing on the back markers now. As you can see, the blue flags are being waved. Now he, needs, he needs to move out of the way now and let the car behind through. Of course, these cars are incredibly strong. He should be OK. He's made contact with the wall. I think he touched the wall then. He caught the wall then. He scraped the wall there. And he's made slight contact with the wall. Despite being black flagged, he's still driving round the circuit without a care in the world. He's ignored a black flag. They'll have his license for this. Ignoring a black flag. He'll be in front of the stewards for that. First light. That's the second light. The third light. Four. Five! It looks like the crew is adjusting the wing settings. Five, four, three, two, one! One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights! Yes, and the lights go out, and it's go, go, go! Go, go, go! They're out, it's go! Lights out, and they're away! And the gap to the car in front seems to be getting bigger. He seems to be losing touch with the car in front. Well, he's lost track position there, I'm afraid. He's getting left behind here. It looks like they're adjusting the wings. The driver needs the aerodynamic balance changing to improve the handling of the car. If he's not careful, he'll lose another place. I don't know what's wrong but he's just off the pace. His lap times are quite a lot slower at the moment. Seems to have lost a bit of pace in the last few laps. He's definitely struggling. That car certainly isn't as fast as we know it can be. Yes, he's really getting left behind now. He's right off the pace now. Sorry for the interruption, Martin. If I could butt in, Martin. Terrible luck, Murray. He's been black flagged. Look and look! If I can interrupt, Martin, and if I can elbow you aside, Martin, I'm so cautious about saying anything about him that I hardly dare say anything at all about him. I know I shouldn't speculate, so I will. This could very well end in tears. I think he's lost this race, unless, of course, he can storm back to win it. He's done it again! Not again! Hakkinen has been shown a black flag. Fourth position for... And again! He must be running low on fuel. He'll have to make a pit stop very soon. 
He really should pit. He can't go on like this. He's losing time messing about. He needs to pit. The team will be screaming down his radio. He must pit. The car's in a right state. He must pit. Hagenham still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? David Coulthard still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Schumacher still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Barrichello still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? DC is being shown a black flag. Was he speeding in the pit lane? Heinz Harold Frensen still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Trulli still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Irvine still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Bertie still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Ralph Schumacher still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Montoya still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Giancarlo Fisichella still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Button still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Jean Alesi still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Matsukani still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Michael Schumacher has been shown a black flag. Heidfeld still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Raikkonen still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Bernoldi still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Verstappen still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Fernando Alonso still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Now, Villeneuve still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? Panis still hasn't made a pit stop. What is he thinking of? He's looking for an opportunity to pass. Now, can he use his superior speed on the straights to get past? Ferrari are receiving the black flag. Is it Shuey? No, it's Barrichello. Rubens Barrichello is being shown the black flag. Can he outbreak him into this next corner? He might have the edge in terms of straight line speed. He'll have to be patient and wait for the right moment. If he's careless, they'll both end up in the gravel trap. A terrible mix-up with driver and team there. As you can see, there's all sorts of commotion. Mechanics all round the garage. This is not a good stop at all, and I think his race could well be over. Yes, heads will roll after this race. He's carried straight on through the pit lane, Martin. An awful stop for McLaren. An awful stop for Ferrari. An awful stop for Jordan. And Frenton is being shown a black flag. An awful stop for the Williams here. An awful stop for Benetton. A disastrous stop for the Prost team then. An awful stop for the Sauber team. That is an awful stop for Arrows. Minardi with a dreadful stop. An awful stop for BAR. That's a dreadful stop for Jaguar. He's in for fuel. He comes in for fuel. Yano Trulli has been shown a black flag. As he makes his way in for fuel, the mechanics will be looking for a perfect stop here. As he makes his way into the pits now, he seems to have left it a little late, but this may turn out to be a good race strategy. Hakkinen's made his way into the pits. David Coulthard comes in for fuel. Michael Schumacher comes in for fuel. Rubens Barrichello comes in for fuel. Heinz Harold Frensen comes in for fuel. And in comes Jarno Trulli. Eddie Irvine comes in for fuel. Bertie comes in for fuel. Irvine has been shown a black flag. Ralph Schumacher comes into the pit lane. It should be a routine stop for the Williams here. Montoya comes in for fuel. That's Fissy Keller making his way into the pits for fuel. Button comes in for fuel. And Alacy's entered the pits. Matsukani comes in for fuel. Heidfeld comes in for fuel. Raikkonen comes in for fuel. Bernoldi is making his way into the pits for fuel. Verstappen comes in for fuel. Luciano Berti has been shown a black flag. Fernando Alonso comes in for fuel. Then that's Villeneuve making his way into the pits. Panis comes in for fuel. That's an excellent pit stop. I think there's a problem with his car, Martin. You can see him making his way into the pits but this doesn't look like a planned stop. There seems to be a mechanical problem with the car. 
He's making his way into the pits. Now, let's see what happens. As he makes his way into the pits, you can see the mechanics waiting for the car. It could well be an electrical fault, Martin. You can see they've got the computers out. And he makes his first stop of the race. He makes his way into the pits for his second stop. Ralph Schumacher has been shown a black flag. In for the third stop, the team's opted for a three-stop strategy. And into the pit lane he comes for his third stop. The three-stop strategy seems to have been the right choice, Martin. Now, as you can see, the conditions are starting to improve and the track's drying out. I think we're going to see a couple of pit stops soon as teams bring their drivers back in for slicks. In he comes, and as predicted, the mechanics are standing by with slicks. Yes, Martin, they're the ones for now. Yes, the team mechanics are standing by with dry weather tyres, and this will surely have taken the rest of the field by surprise. And it looks as though he's coming in for rain tyres. Into the pits he comes, and it's going to be rain tyres, I think. As he enters the pits, the team will surely fit rain tyres. Yes, it'd be a terrible mistake to opt for slicks. Montoya has been shown a black flag. Incredible! He's got back out without losing his place. He's back on the track without losing too much time. That stops cost him places. He hasn't lost his position in the race, even after stopping to pit. And he's got a puncher. And he's picked up a puncher. I'm not sure whether he'll be able to make it back to the pits, though. The tyre's shredding quite a lot, and it's surely not doing the bodywork any good. He's got a puncture, and Hakkinen will not be happy with that qualifying session. A terrible qualifying session for David Coulthard. A terrible qualifying session for Michael Schumacher. Fisichella has been shown a black flag. He can't believe it. Fourth on the grid for Barry Kello with a positively awful qualifying session. That is an awful qualifying session for Frensen. A positively dreadful qualifying session for Jarno Trulli. Irvine can drive better than this. He's going to be immensely disappointed with his qualifying times today. Bertie with a dreadful qualifying session. And Ralph Schumacher will not be happy with his qualifying times today. Montoya with a dreadful qualifying session. A simply dreadful qualifying session for Fissy Keller. Button with a dreadful qualifying session. A simply awful qualifying session for Alacy. Button has been shown a black flag. Matsukani with a dreadful qualifying session. Heidfeld with a dreadful qualifying session. Raikkonen will not be happy with his qualifying times there. That's a dreadful qualifying session for Enrique Benaldi. That is a dreadful qualifying session for Verstappen. Fernando Alonso with a dreadful qualifying session. With a dreadful qualifying session. Villeneuve with a dreadful qualifying session. Panis with a dreadful qualifying session. He's well off the pace with that lap time. John Alacy has been shown a black flag. He's a couple of seconds off the pace. He really needs to start pushing now. A dreadful lap time. And yes, Hakkinen adds another pole position to his tally. David Coulthard takes pole in the closing minutes of this session. Michael Schumacher takes pole in the closing minutes of this session. Barry Kello takes pole in the dying seconds. Heinz Harold Frenson takes pole. Trulli has taken pole. Jaguar on pole. Eddie Irvine's taken pole position in the dying minutes of qualifying. Matt Sakane has been shown a black flag. Bertie, he's done it. Jaguar are on the front row of the grid. Schumacher, Ralph Schumacher takes pole position in the dying minutes of this qualifying session. Montoya takes pole. Williams are back on the front of the grid where they belong. He's done it. Giancarlo Fisichella has beaten the previous pole time. Superb! Button has taken pole in the fading minutes of this qualifying session. Heidfeld! No! Alacy! It's Alacy! Jean Alacy takes pole! Yes! It's pole position for Matsukani! Excellent drive by Heidfeld! He's taken pole position! Superb! Raikkonen has taken pole in the fading minutes of this qualifying session. Yes! Bernoldi has taken pole! Heidfeld has been shown a black flag. 
I, I, I don't believe it. Jos Verstappen has taken pole in the dying minutes. Yes, yes, yes. Fernando Alonso has taken pole position in the Minardi. Yeah, Villeneuve takes pole. Superb driving. Has he? Has he? Yes, he has. Panis has snatched pole position. Yes, his times are really starting to suffer. Yes, his times are really starting to suffer. Hakkinen takes pole. And Coulthard moves into top spot on the grid. Michael Schumacher moves into pole position. Raikkonen has been shown a black flag. A comfortable pole position time for Barrichello. Frenson moves to first on the grid. And truly takes pole position. Irvine is on pole. It's pole for Bertie. That's pole position for Ralph Schumacher. It's pole for Montoya. That's pole for Fissy Keller. It's pole for Button. That's Alessi with pole position. Bernaldi has been shown a black flag. Matsakani moves onto the front of the grid in pole position. And Heidfeld moves onto the front of the grid in pole position. Raikkonen secures pole. Bernaldi will certainly take pole with that time. And Verstappen will surely take pole with that time. It's pole position for Fernando Alonso. That and Villeneuve will surely move into pole with that time. Panis moves on to pole. And the checkered flag means today's qualifying session is over. Jos Verstappen has been shown a black flag. Qualifying takes place on Saturday, the day before the race, when the drivers compete to establish the start grid order. Each driver is entitled to 12 timed laps, which have to be completed in the one-hour session. The laps don't have to be consecutive, though. It's up to each driver when he goes out on the track. That's it. The end of today's qualifying. Often, the drivers will go out for two or three flying laps and then go back to the garage to watch their rivals' progress on the overhead TV monitors. At the start of the session, nobody's ever very keen to be first on the track, but eventually, one of them just can't bear the tension any longer and makes a move. Out laps when the car comes out of the pits and in laps when they go back in again count as part of the 12. As the driver sits in the garage concentrating his mind on the job ahead, there's often a frenzy of activity from the mechanics tweaking the car to get the best out of it. Some of the drivers are in the habit of putting in a few laps at the very end of the session. As long as they cross the start and finish line before the 60 minutes is up, then that lap will count. The 107% rule is there to weed out drivers that are so slow that, for whatever reason, they might be a danger on the track. No one is allowed to race if their best time is more than 107% of that of the driver in pole position. Alonso has been shown a black flag. Yes, a new lap record. He's done it. A new lap record. First position on the grid. Second position on the grid. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. The b ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. Twelfth. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. Jacques Villeneuve has been shown a black flag. Fourth on the grid for 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd. What do you make of the qualifying so far, Martin? A superb qualifying session, Martin. A tricky qualifying session, Martin. A very tricky qualifying session, Martin. We're still waiting for a team to make the first move during this qualifying session. And still no one has exited the pits to start their qualifying session. Panis has been shown a black flag. And still no one comes out to start the qualifying session. And both McLarens are at the front of the grid. And both Ferraris are at the front of the grid. And both Jordans are at the front of the grid. And both Jaguars are at the front of the grid. And both Williams are at the front of the grid. And both Benettons are at the front of the grid. And both Prosts are at the front of the grid. And both Saubers are at the front of the grid. And both Arrows are at the front of the grid. He really needs to move out of the way now. You can clearly see the blue flags are being waved. 
but he's still driving on the racing line instead of moving out of the way. And both Minardis are at the front of the grid. And both the BARs are at the front of the grid. McLaren should be delighted with that lap time. It is superb. Ferrari should be delighted with that lap time. It is superb. Jordan should be delighted with that lap time. Superb. Jaguar should be delighted with that lap time. It's superb. Williams should be delighted with that lap time. It's superb. Benetton should be delighted with that lap time. Superb. Prost should be delighted with that lap time. Superb. Sauber should be delighted with that lap time. It's superb. Blue flag is being waved there, so he's going to have to move out of the way and let the leaders through. Arrows should be delighted with that lap time. It's superb. Minardi should be delighted with that lap time. It's superb. BAR should be delighted with that lap time. It is superb. There's around 10 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. There's around 20 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. There's around 30 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. There's around 40 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. There's around 45 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Melbourne. Conditions couldn't be better for the drivers, so we should see some excellent lap times. You join me at the Sepang Race Circuit for the qualifying session for the Malaysian Grand Prix. You're right, Murray. Things are getting a little hectic out there on the track. If you see the blue flags, you need to move out of the way and let them through. Welcome to today's qualifying session at Interlagos. Conditions are good, so we should see some excellent lap times. Welcome to today's qualifying session at Imola. Conditions are good, so some excellent lap times are expected. Welcome to today's qualifying session at Catalonia, where the conditions are excellent. Welcome to today's qualifying session at the A1 ring in Austria, where conditions are very good indeed. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Monaco. Superb conditions for an exciting 60 minutes. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Montreal, where we expect good conditions throughout the session. Welcome to the Nürburgring. Conditions couldn't be better for the drivers today, so we should see some excellent lap times. Welcome to today's qualifying session at Manicour. Good conditions mean good lap times, so we should see plenty of competitive driving. Welcome to the qualifying session for this year's British Grand Prix. We're at Silverstone and conditions couldn't be better, so expect some very fast times. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Hockenheim. Great conditions, fast circuit, so let battle commence. As you can see, the blue flag is already being shown, so he'll have to watch out as he moves out of the pit lane and onto the track. Welcome to today's qualifying session at the Hungaro Ring, where we're all ready for the start of qualifying. Welcome to Spa. Qualifying's just about to start, so let's head over to the track and see how things go. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Monza in Italy. We're at the superb Indianapolis Raceway for today's qualifying session for the US Grand Prix. We've seen some superb qualifying sessions during the season, so let's hope Suzuka will give us the same. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Albert Park, Australia. Conditions have deteriorated over the last few hours, and the drivers are going to find this a very difficult session. You join me at the Sepang Race Circuit for the qualifying session for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Conditions are poor today, as rain is continuing to fall. Welcome to today's qualifying session at Interlagos. As the rain continues to fall, the drivers are going to find this a very difficult qualifying session. We're at Imola. Conditions have deteriorated over the last few hours, and the drivers are going to find this a very difficult qualifying session. It's the Spanish Grand Prix from Catalonia. There's no sun, and the conditions have deteriorated over the last couple of hours. So, this is going to be a very difficult qualifying session indeed. Hakkinen's done it. 
He's taken pole position in the closing minutes. Welcome to today's qualifying session from the A1 ring in Austria. Conditions have deteriorated over the last few hours and rain has started to fall. Monte Carlo and the qualifying session for the Monaco Grand Prix. The rain is falling and there's not going to be very much grip. Welcome to today's qualifying session from Montreal. The track is wet and the conditions are terrible. A very wet Nürburgring for today's qualifying session. Now let's head over to the track and see what happens. We're at Manicour and the drivers are going to find qualifying conditions very tricky as the rain is continuing to fall. Silverstone and qualifying for the British Grand Prix. The English skies have opened and the dry weekend we were hoping for just isn't happening. Germany, the superb Hockenheim race circuit, and the drivers are going to find it very tricky indeed as heavy rain continues to fall. Welcome to the Hungarian Grand Prix, where conditions couldn't be worse for today's qualifying session. Welcome to Spa. The rain is falling, qualifying conditions look tricky, and I think we can expect some surprises. Monza, Italy. Difficult conditions for drivers today as the rain continues to fall. So now, let's see how things go. DC's done it. He's taken pole position in the closing minutes. We're at the superb Indianapolis Raceway for today's qualifying session for the US Grand Prix. The rain is falling heavily at the moment, so grid positions are unpredictable. We're at the Suzuka circuit in Japan for what looks to be a very wet and tricky qualifying session. That's it, everyone's on the grid and the race is about to get underway. All the drivers are sitting anxiously waiting for it to start. Not long now. Here we are, waiting for what should be a tremendously exciting race. We're just waiting for the lights. Just waiting for the start of the race now, after all the hard work they've put in over the weekend. Let's hope we see a clean start. The tension's building as we wait for the lights and the start of today's race. As the drivers sit there on the grid, you can hear the sheer noise of Formula One. The tension is high. Let's hope we see a clean start. The last car's pulled onto the grid. Not long to go now before the start. Just waiting for the lights. The tension is high and the noise is deafening. In first place is Michael Schumacher snatch pole position. Victory and 10 points goes to in first place is in first place is and it's 10 points for second place goes to second place goes to in second place in second place six points for third is Barrichello snatch pole position. And in third is third place on the podium goes to finishes third four points and in third is fourth place for in fourth position fourth place for in fourth position it's three points to in fifth place is frenton has snatched pole position in fifth is in fifth position is in fifth position is in fifth position with two points a single point for in sixth place is in sixth place is in sixth place is in sixth place is in seventh position is and truly's done it he's taken pole in the final moments of this qualifying session in seventh position is in seventh place in seventh place in seventh place eighth position eighth position in eighth position in eighth position in eighth position ninth place irvine's done it He's taken pole in the final moments of this qualifying session. In ninth place is... Ninth place is in ninth. In ninth place is... Tenth position for... Tenth position for... Tenth position. Tenth place goes to... Tenth place goes to... Eleventh goes to... His time was looking very good at both splits, but I honestly didn't think he would make pole. Eleventh goes to... Finishing eleventh is... Finishing eleventh is... Finishing 11th is, in 12th is, in 12th is, in 12th is, and in 12th position is, and in 12th position is, 13th is. Great stuff from Ralph Schumacher there. 
You could almost see traces of his brother in his driving. Thirteenth is... Is in thirteenth place. Is in thirteenth place. Is in thirteenth place. In fourteenth is... Is in fourteenth place. In fourteenth is... Is in fourteenth place. Is in fourteenth place. It's fifteenth place for... His time was looking very good at both splits, but I honestly didn't think he would make pole. Fifteenth is... It's fifteenth place for... Fifteenth is... Fifteenth is... Is in sixteenth. Sixteenth for... Is in sixteenth. Sixteenth for... Sixteenth for... In seventeenth place. Yes, superb driving. He's been storming along in that Benetton. Is in 17th position. In 17th place. Is in 17th position. Is in 17th position. 18th place is... 18th place is... Finishes 18th. Finishes 18th. Finishes 18th. Finishes 19th. Yes, Murray, that was a superb drive by the young Englishman to take pole. Finishes 19th. 19th for... 19th for... 19th for... Finishes 20th. Finishes 20th. Finishes 20th. Finishes 20th. Finishes 20th. Finishing in 21st position is... Excellent drive from the Frenchman. Technically perfect. 21st is... Finishing in 21st position is... 21st is... 21st is... Finishing in last place is... Finishing in last place is... Finishes in 22nd position. Finishes in 22nd position. Finishes in 22nd position. And we're coming to the final corner of the last lap. His time was looking very good at both splits, but I honestly didn't think he would make pole. The final corner of the race is coming up. There's only one corner left in the race. As he exits the final corner of the race, he'll surely take the chequered flag now. With only one corner left in this, his final lap, he'll surely take the chequered flag now. One corner remaining, but I'm sure that won't be a problem. He's had a superb race and he'll surely take the chequered flag. He's round the last corner and approaching the chequered flag. And after an almost perfect race, Mika Hakkinen will take the chequered flag. And it's a win for David Coulthard. Calmly, around the final corner, and once again it's another superb drive by the German. So here he is. Michael Schumacher takes the chequered flag and Ferrari will be overjoyed with his drive. And it's Rubens Barrichello for Ferrari. It's been a superb drive and victory for the Brazilian. And you can see the Ferrari camp celebrating down in the pit lane. That's it, Murray. I don't think anyone is going to beat that time. In fifth, and Frenson will take the chequered flag. It's a win for Heinz Harold. And it's a win for Jarno Trulli. This has been a superb race for the Jordan team. And Eddie Irvine will take the chequered flag. What a superb race this has been for Jaguar. And Bertie crosses the line in first position. It's been a superb race for him today. Ralph Schumacher takes the chequered flag for Williams. What a superb race for the young German. And it's victory for Montoya. And as he exits the final corner, it's a win for Giancarlo Fisichella and a win for Benetton. As he exits the final corner, it's a win for both Benetton and Jensen Button. As Alessi approaches the finish line, the Prost team are ecstatic. It's been a superb race for them and an excellent drive by Alessi as he takes the chequered flag. Matsukani will take the chequered flag and maximum points for both himself and the Prost team. Excellent drive, Raikkonen. Technically perfect. What a superb race it's been for the Sauber team as Heidfeld takes the chequered flag and Raikkonen crosses the line in first place. This has been a superb race for Sauber and there'll be a lot of celebrating tonight. Enrique Benaldi takes the chequered flag. 
That's a superb result after an excellent drive. And Jos Verstappen takes the chequered flag. A superb race for the Dutch driver. As Minardi exits the final corner, we're going to see Fernando Alonso take the chequered flag. He's clear of the final bend, and it's a win for Jacques Villeneuve. It's a superb win for Panis. And after a superb Australian Grand Prix, the final order is... Now, here are the race results from the Malaysian Grand Prix. I can't believe it, Murray. He's been driving brilliantly all session, and now all his hard work has paid off. And the final race order here at Interlagos, Brazil is... And after a superb San Marino Grand Prix, here's the final order. And the final order from Catalonia is... And the final race order from the A1 ring, Austria, is... It's been a great start to the championship. And here's the final order from the Monaco Grand Prix. It's been a very interesting Canadian Grand Prix. And here's the final order. Now, here are the race results from the Nürburgring. We're nearly midway through the season, and here's the final order from Manicourt. We've had a superb weekend here at Silverstone, and what a race it's been. The final order is... It's been a very interesting German Grand Prix from the very fast Hockenheim circuit. And now, it's time for the final race order. Superb stuff, Murray. Verstappen has managed to take the pole from the front runners. And now it's time for the final order here at the Hungaro Ring. And now it's time for the final race order from Spa. It's been an electrical Italian Grand Prix, as always. And Ferrari's colours have smothered the circuit all weekend. Let's just take a look at the final order. Now, with just one round remaining in the championship, let's take a look at the race results and see how things are affected in the Drivers' Championship. And it's the end of another superb and tense Formula One season. We ended in Japan, and what a race it's been. Let's take a look at the race order and look at the championship tables. They're away safely. No, wait, there's been a crash. The race is underway, and there's a crash. Good Lord, there's a massive accident at the start of the race. And it's a good, clean start. And they're all away safely. I don't believe it, Murray. Outstanding drive. No problems. It's a superb start. Yes, Martin, a superb start. No incidents. Yes, a fabulous start, Martin. All the drivers seem to be away cleanly. Superb stuff from Mika Hakkinen. That's an excellent start. That's David Coulthard with a superb getaway. And Michael Schumacher starts superbly. Barrichello with a superb getaway. Frentzen with a superb getaway. Jarno Trulli with a superb start. He shot off the line like a rocket. That's Eddie Irvine. He shot off the line superbly. Ex As the lights go out, Bertie makes a superb start. Ralph Schumacher flies off his start position first. Superb stuff. Montoya with a superb start as the lights go out. And Giancarlo Fisichella is away superbly. That's Button with a superb start. Alessi with a superb start. Very quick off the line. Mazzacani with a superb start. Very quick off the line. And Heidfeld is away superbly. Raikkonen is away superbly. That's a superb start by Enrique Benaldi. Excellent drive for Jacques Villeneuve. Technically perfect. A superb start by Jos Verstappen. A superb start by Fernando Alonso. That what a superb start for Jacques Villeneuve. Panis with a superb start. He's made a full start. Just a slight lapse in concentration and it'll cost him dearly. We'll have to wait for the official's decision but I think he'll be penalised. He's away quickly, Martin. It's surely a full start, Martin. My word, Hakkinen away before the lights went out. He's going to be in real trouble if he gets a 10-second penalty. David Coulthard with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Excellent drive, Olivier Panis. Technically perfect. Michael Schumacher was surely away before the lights went out. My word, Barrichello away before the lights went out. 
Frenson is away too early. He'll surely receive a 10-second penalty. Yano trotted with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Eddie Irvine's made a very uncharacteristic false start. Bertie makes a false start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. And Ralph Schumacher makes a terrible start. He's gone too early. Montoya with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. A terrible mistake for Fisichella. He was surely away before the lights went out. Button, away too early. Surely he'll get a 10-second penalty. We'll now take a look at the Constructors' Championship table. And Elise is away too soon. He's made a full start. Matsakani is away too soon. He's made a full start. And Heidfeld is away too early. He'll be penalised for that. Raikkonen makes a full start. Surely that was a full start by Enrique Benaldi. And Verstappen surely made a full start. Fernando Alonso is away too early. He'll be penalised for that. Pe Villeneuve was away quick. But surely that was a false start. Dennis makes a false start. Now it's time to take a look at the Constructors' Championship. Hagenen with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Coulthard with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Schumacher with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Barrichello with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Frenson with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Trulli with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Irvine with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Bertie with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Ralph Schumacher with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Montoya with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Leading the Constructors' Championship is... On the third row in fifth position is... Giancarlo Fisichella with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Button with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Jean Alesi with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Matt Sakani with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Hide felt with a very quick start indeed but we'll have to look at that again i'm sure he was away before the lights went out raikkonen with a very quick start indeed but we'll have to look at that again i'm sure he was away before the lights went out bernoldi with a very quick start indeed but we'll have to look at that again i'm sure he was away before the lights went out verstappen with a very quick start indeed but we'll have to look at that again i'm sure he was away before the lights went out fernando alonso with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Hack Top of the constructors table is Villeneuve with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Panis with a very quick start indeed, but we'll have to look at that again. I'm sure he was away before the lights went out. Coulthard makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Schumacher makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Ginnon makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Barrichello makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Frenson makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Trulli makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Irvine makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Bertie makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Lead the Constructors' Championship. Ralph Schumacher makes a full start. 
Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Montoya makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Fisichella makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Button makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Jean Alesi makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Matsukani makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Heidfeld makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Raikkonen makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Bernoldi makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Verstappen makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Heading the Constructors' Championship is... Fernando Alonso makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Yeah. Villeneuve makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Makes a full start. Such an easy mistake when you're waiting for all those lights to go out. Oh no, he stalled it. Yes, Mika Hakkinen stalled his McLaren. Coulthard seems to have stalled his car. Martin, that's a Ferrari still on the grid. It's Michael Schumacher on the grid. He's stalled. Martin, that's a Ferrari still on the grid. It's Barrichello. And Heinz Harold Frensen stalls his car. They move into the top spot of the Constructors' Championship. And Jano Trudy sits motionless on the grid. He stalled his car. And that's Eddie Irvine. He stalled his Jaguar. Bertie stalls his car. Ralph Schumacher stalls his Williams. Montoya stalls his car. Yes, Fisichella sits motionless on the grid. He stalled his car. Jensen Button stalls his car. Yes, it's Alesi. He seems to have stalled his car. Matsukani stalls his car. Heidfeld sits motionless on the grid. He stalled his car. Second place in the Constructors' Championship is Raikkonen stalls his Sauber. Enrique Benoldi seems to have stalled his car. Yes, it's Jos Verstappen. He stalled the car. Yes, it's Fernando Alonso. He seems to have stalled his car. Yes, Jacques Villeneuve has stalled the car. Yes, Martin, it's Panis. That's it. Everyone on the grid and the race is about to start. The wet conditions are going to make this a very, very tricky start. Here we are, waiting for what should be a tremendously exciting race. Conditions are dreadful today. The rain's continuing to pour down. Let's hope we see a clean start, though. The drivers are lining up on the grid for what should be a superb race. The rain continues to fall, but I don't think it should be too much of a problem. Second place in the Constructors' Championship. Um We're looking at a very tricky race here. All the cars are lined up on the grid, but the heavy rain's going to make it very difficult to get away cleanly. We're waiting for the last car to pull into position. Let's hope they all get away cleanly in these wet conditions. You join me as the cars are lining up on the grid. It's wet, and I'm sure the drivers are going to find it difficult to get away cleanly. No, he can't believe it. His car's slowly coming to a standstill. I think he's run out of fuel. He's run out of fuel. What rotten luck. And there seem to be fuel problems for McLaren. The Ferrari looks to have run out of fuel. The Jordan looks to have run out of fuel. And there seem to be fuel problems for Jaguar. The Williams seems to have run out of fuel. That's terribly unlucky at this stage of the race. In second spot, um... As the Benetton comes to a halt, it seems to have run out of fuel. And there seem to be fuel problems for Prost. And that's a Sauber moving slowly off the track. He's run out of fuel. And the Arrows looks to have run out of fuel. Minardi have problems. It looks as though they've run out of fuel. And there seem to be fuel problems for BAR. That's a McLaren. It's Hakkinen. I think he's run out of fuel. David Coulthard somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now, and I think he's out of fuel. Michael Schumacher somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now, and I think he's out of fuel. Barrichello somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. 
His car's crawling down the track now, and I think he's out of fuel. Are in second place. Frenson somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now, and I think he's out of fuel. Trulli's car's slowing down. I think he may have a mechanical problem. No, no, wait. I think it could well be fuel. And Eddie Irvine's race is over. It looks as though he's got some kind of a mechanical problem or maybe run out of fuel. Bertie somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. Ralph Schumacher retires with fuel problems. Terrible luck for the young German there. Montoya somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. And Giancarlo Fisichella somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. Jensen Button somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. And Lacey somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. Matsukani retires and it looks as though he's run out of fuel. Move up into second place. And Heidfeld somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. And Raikkonen retires with fuel problems. That's Enrique Benaldi crawling down the track. He's out of fuel. And Verstappen is out of fuel. As poor old Fernando Alonso comes to a standstill, he must be bitterly disappointed. His car's run out of fuel. Pat Villeneuve somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. Dennis somehow seems to have miscalculated his stops. His car's crawling down the track now and I think he's out of fuel. It's over. That smoke suggests an engine failure. His car's slowing down, Martin. He must have some kind of a mechanical problem. Dropping back into second place is the... On the third row in fifth position is... In pole position we have... McLaren look to have a mechanical problem. Ferrari look to have a mechanical problem. Jordan look to have a mechanical problem. Disappointment for Jaguar as he retires from the race with what looks to be a mechanical problem. The Williams is out. I'm not sure what the problem is. It seemed to be running so well, but it's a major disappointment for them. That's a Benetton. There seems to be a mechanical problem. The Prost is out. It looks as though there's a mechanical problem. And the Sauber's out. It looks like a mechanical problem, Martin. There seems to be a problem for Arrows. Minardi looked to have a mechanical problem. In third place, there seems to be a problem with the BAR. Major disappointment for Hakkinen. Coulthard looks to be out with a mechanical problem. And Schumacher's Ferrari is crawling round the track. He seems to have a mechanical problem. Barrichello is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Frenson is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. And it's retirement for Jarno Trulli. That's terrible luck for Jordan. Irvine's car's slowing down. It looks to be engine failure. I'm not sure if he can make it back to the pits, but I think this is the end of his race. Bertie is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Ralph Schumacher is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Are in third place. Montoya is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Fisichella's Benetton is coming to a standstill. I think he's suffering from some mechanical problem. Button is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Alessi is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Matsukani is out. It looks as though his Prost is suffering from a mechanical problem. Heidfeld is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Raikkonen retires with what looks like mechanical failure. Bernoldi is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. And Verstappen is out. It looks looks like a mechanical problem. Fernando Alonso is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. Moving into third is the... Villeneuve's race seems to be over. A mechanical problem, I guess. Panis is out. It looks like a mechanical problem. I can't believe it. He's actually reversing on the track. What's he doing? He's going backwards. Has he got gearbox problems? 
He, he's stuck in reverse. Oh, no, he's driving backwards. That very dangerous. The new leader is Hakkinen. The new leader is David Coulthard. The new leader is Schumacher. Moving down into third spot is the... The new leader is Barrichello. The new leader is Heinz Harald Frensen. The new leader is Trolley. The new leader is Irvine. The new leader is Bertie. The new leader is Ralph Schumacher. The new leader is Montoya. The new leader is Giancarlo Fisichella. The new leader is Button. The new leader is Jean Alesi. Fourth position is... The new leader is Mazzacani. The new leader is Heidfeld. The new leader is Raikkonen. The new leader is Bernoldi. The new leader is Verstappen. The new leader is Fernando Alonso. The new leader is Villeneuve. The new leader is Panis. The safety car is out, so here's the procedure. You're looking at the safety car now, and you can see that its lights are flashing. What happens is the leader will form up behind him, followed by the rest of the grid. Eventually, the safety car with its lights off will come into the pit lane, and we'll have a rolling start. And then you'll see the marshals waving their green flags. In fourth position is the... What's he doing? Has he stalled it? Must be sleeping at the wheel. The engine's running. Why has he stopped? Is he OK? The car looks fine. If he doesn't move, the marshals will push him out of the way. He's off onto the grass. Oh, he slid onto the grass. He's on the grass. Too much speed entering the bend and he's off onto the grass. Looks like he got on the power too early and spun off onto the grass. A fourth. He's spun off. He's on the grass again. Yet again, he's on the grass. Keep off the grass. Oh no, he's off the track. That is a massive accident. There's cars and debris all over the track. Surely the race will have to be stopped, Martin. Hakkinen could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. David Coulthard could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Let's hope Michael Schumacher's OK after that colossal impact. Barry Kello could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Move back down to fourth. And Frenson collides heavily with the wall. That's a massive impact. Jarno Trulli could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Eddie Irvine could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Bertie with an awful crash. Let's hope he's OK after that very high-speed impact. Ralph Schumacher could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Montoya could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Fissy Keller slams into the wall there. Button could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. That's Alesi's Prost that hit the wall then. A massive impact. Matsakani slams into the wall. Moving up into fourth spot is Heidfeld. Flies into the barrier. A massive impact there. Raikkonen could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. And Bernoldi slams into the wall. That's a massive impact with the wall for Verstappen. Fernando Alonso with an awful crash. Let's hope he's OK after that very high-speed impact. And Villeneuve slams into the wall at very high speed. Hakkinen could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Dennis flies into the barrier. A massive impact there. David Coulthard could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. In fifth. In sixth position. Schumacher could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Barrichello could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Frenson could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Trulli could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Irvine could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Bertie could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Ralph Schumacher could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Montoya could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Giancarlo Fisichella could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Button could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Are in fifth spot. Jean Alesi could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Matsukani could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. 
Heidfeld could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Raikkonen could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Bernoldi could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Verstappen could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Fernando Alonso could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Villeneuve could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Panis could do nothing to avoid that massive impact. Fifth in the Constructors' Championship arm. And Hakkinen slams into the wall. And David Coulthard slams into the wall. And Schumacher slams into the wall. And Barrichello slams into the wall. And Heinz Harold Frensen slams into the wall. And Trulli slams into the wall. And Irvine slams into the wall. And Bertie slams into the wall. And Ralph Schumacher slams into the wall. And Montoya slams into the wall. Dropping down into fifth position is... And Giancarlo Fisichella slams into the wall. And Button slams into the wall. And Alessi slams into the wall. And Matsukani slams into the wall. And Heidfeld slams into the wall. And Raikkonen slams into the wall. And Bernoldi slams into the wall. And Verstappen slams into the wall. And Fernando Alonso slams into the wall. And move up into fifth spot. And Panis slams into the wall. That's a very early pit stop. Are they on a three-stop strategy? Villeneuve slams into the wall. They must be going for a three-stop strategy today. The teams on two stops will need to bring their cars in soon. Cars that are on a one-stop strategy will be in soon, I think. McLaren have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Ferrari have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Jordan have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Williams have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. That was a definite collision with Mika Hakkinen. Benetton have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Prost have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Sauber have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Arrows have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Minardi have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. BAR have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Jaguar have brought their first car into the pits. They must be on a two-stop strategy. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for McLaren. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Ferrari. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Jordan. That was a definite collision with David Coulthard. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Williams. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Benetton. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Prost. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Sauber. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Arrows. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Minardi. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for BAR. Well, it looks like a single-stop strategy for Jaguar. Of course, each team has two cars to think about. Strategies can change. If the weather changes, for example. That was a definite collision with Michael Schumacher. Wet weather or a collision can really throw a spanner in the works for pit strategies. He's off. He's spun off. He's gone off. He's passed. What an incredible manoeuvre. I can't believe he did that. He just blasted past. He's passed. Excellent stuff. Well taken. That's his experience showing there. That was a definite collision with Rubens Barrichello. That's the way to do it. Great stuff. Excellent. This is what Formula One is all about. That was a brilliant overtaking manoeuvre. He made that look rather easy. He's showing world-class overtaking skill. He's just scything his way through the field. He 
pulled out of the slipstream and slid past. He just blasted past. Look at that. He's taken a shortcut. That is incredible. A sneaky shortcut. That was a definite collision with Frentzen. That's not the way. Perhaps his brakes have failed. He's taken a shortcut. The rules say if a shortcut gains you track position, you will be penalised. He's cut the corner. Hackenden will be penalised for that shortcut. David Coulthard will be penalised for that shortcut. Schumacher will be penalised for that shortcut. Barrichello will be penalised for that shortcut. Heinz Harold Frensen will be penalised for that shortcut. Trulli will be penalised for that shortcut. That was a definite collision with Trulli. In sixth position, Irvine will be penalised for that shortcut. Bertie will be penalised for that shortcut. Ralph Schumacher will be penalised for that shortcut. Montoya will be penalised for that shortcut. Fisichella will be penalised for that shortcut. Button will be penalised for that shortcut. Jean Alesi will be penalised for that shortcut. Matsukani will be penalised for that shortcut. Heidfeld will be penalised for that shortcut. Raikkonen will be penalised for that shortcut. That was a definite collision with Irvine. Bernoldi will be penalised for that shortcut. Verstappen will be penalised for that shortcut. Fernando Alonso will be penalised for that shortcut. Villeneuve will be penalised for that shortcut. Panis will be penalised for that shortcut. Conditions have deteriorated all around the track. Rain is falling everywhere and the team's going to have to choose rain tyres. It started to rain heavily round the track, so I think for sure they'll all switch to rain tyres. The rain's coming down heavily now. Rain has started falling all round the circuit. That was a definite collision with Luciano Berti. And it started to rain. As you can see, it started to rain. Visibility round the circuits dropped to almost impossible driving conditions. I wonder if the stewards are going to stop the race. If the rain falls like this much longer, the race will be stopped. Conditions are far too dangerous now. And it looks as though the rain has finally won. The stewards have stopped the race. And the red flags are out. The rain's put a stop to this race. And it looks as though the rain is stopping. We'll soon see some sun. And the sun is starting to peep through the clouds. The sun's come back out. This is going to make things very interesting indeed. And the sun is shining all round the circuit. Racing conditions and track temperatures are getting to be perfect. That was a definite collision with Ralph Schumacher. The yellow flags are out. There must have been an accident or something up ahead. The marshals are waving yellow flags frantically. That was a massive impact. And there's been a crash up ahead. The yellow flags are being waved. They've got to slow down. The yellow flags are out. And he's got a stop-go penalty. That's 10 seconds. And in he comes for his 10-second penalty. So, he comes to his own garage and they'll count him down from 10. Remember, the mechanics can't touch or change the car in any way. Oh dear, he's in the gravel trap. I wonder if that trip into the country has damaged something on the underside of the car. He spun off at top speed, but the gravel's done its job. There'll be all sorts of little bits of stone and gravel sticking to his tyres now. That was a definite collision with Juan Pablo Montoya. He'll have to be very careful just until his tyres are scrubbed clean again. Oh, it's another spin. He spun that car again. Oh dear, he spun off again. He'll do well to get back out of the gravel trap. And now the side pods will be full of gravel. Not good. The marshals show the blue flag to a driver when his car's in danger of getting in the way of faster cars approaching from behind. For instance, if he's about to be lapped. The driver being shown the blue flag is obliged to let the faster traffic through as soon as he can. The yellow flag is a danger signal, telling drivers to slow down because there's a problem on the track ahead. It's often seen as the result of a crash. The yellow flag will warn of debris or oil on the track, 
or that a damaged car is blocking the way. Drivers are not allowed to overtake when the yellow flags are being waved. If a driver's disqualified, perhaps for ignoring a stop-go penalty, he'll be shown the black flag. The chequered flag, of course, is waved as the driver in the lead crosses the finish line at the end of the race to let him know he's won. It's then shown, but usually not waved, at the rest of the drivers to let them know the race is over. That was a definite collision with Fizzy Keller. He's had a disappointing weekend. He'll want to put this race behind him. Hagenen is definitely struggling today. David Coulthard is definitely struggling today. Schumacher is definitely struggling today. Barry Callow is definitely struggling today. Heinz Harold Frensen is definitely struggling today. Trulli is definitely struggling today. Irvine is definitely struggling today. Bertie is definitely struggling today. That was a definite collision with Button. Ralph Schumacher is definitely struggling today. Montoya is definitely struggling today. Giancarlo Fisichella is definitely struggling today. Button is definitely struggling today. Alessi is definitely struggling today. Matsakani is definitely struggling today. Heidfeld is definitely struggling today. Raikkonen is definitely struggling today. Bernoldi is definitely struggling today. Verstappen is definitely struggling today. That was a definite collision with Alessi. Fernando Alonso is definitely struggling today. Pat Villeneuve is definitely struggling today. He knows he's out of the championship, but that's no reason to give up. He's not trying at all. What is he playing at? Dennis is definitely struggling today. You'd think that he'd want to put a little more effort into his performance. You'd think that he'd want to try harder. It looks to me like he's happy to just canter along. Is he trying to join the backmarkers or what? That was a definite collision with Matsukane. 10 out of 10 for effort. That's perseverance for you. There's actually flames leaping out from behind the driver. Look at the smoke coming out of his car. He's in the lead. He's taken the lead. Melbourne's Albert Park rightly calls itself a great place for the race. The track circles the lake and passes right through the city park. The latest stop for the Formula One circus is this brand new Malaysian circuit. Long straights and tight bends certainly keep the drivers on their toes. With its bumpy, dusty surface, the Interlagos circuit is tough on cars and tough on drivers. Formula One racing always comes alive here at Imola, the first European race of the season. We can expect crowds of 200,000 passionate tifosi crammed in on race day. That was a definite collision with Heidfeld. Catalonia has a fair share of long, constant radius corners, which together with an abrasive surface, make this track tough on tyres. But it's a firm favourite with a lot of the drivers. A poor relation to the old Oesterreich ring on which it's based, the setting is beautiful. Although the track is tight, the racing is always exciting. The narrow, winding streets might make the going slow, but many of the drivers live here, so they certainly know their way round. There are very few runoff areas, so the slightest driver error can end in disaster. Situated on an island, this is one of the best Formula One tracks. With its long, high-speed straights followed by chicanes, it's one of the hardest circuits of the year on brakes. Despite being considerably shorter and safer than it used to be, the Nürburgring is still steeped in history and tradition. Situated between Paris and Lyon, this newly resurfaced track certainly sees its fair share of the action. With such a slippery surface, the high and low speed corners need 100% driver concentration. This is one of the highlights of the Formula One calendar. The incredible atmosphere helped by the enthusiastic home fans. The mixture of fast and slow corners makes car setup difficult to get right. Hockenheim is a bit of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It has two very different characters. Around the stadium complex, the corners are slow and tight. But most of the circuit is a series of fast straights punctuated by chicanes. The track is twisty, dusty and narrow. 
Since overtaking is difficult, a good starting position on the grid is vital. This fabulous country road winds through the Ardennes region of Belgium and offers some of the most challenging bends in motorsport. That was a definite collision with Kimi Raikkonen. Sixth spot on the grid is taken up by, despite a handful of demanding chicanes, Monza is the fastest track in Formula One. A win by Ferrari on home turf is going to send the spectators wild. This track is a real test of man and machine. With its figure of eight configuration and some awesome bends, it's a real driver's circuit. Hopefully, the Prosts are going to be more competitive this year. He's so far behind the pack, the finishing will be an achievement in itself. He's well behind now. I think we can discount him from serious contention. No chance for him now. He'll be lucky to finish in the points. Surely he's got to retire soon. He can't go on like this without doing some serious damage. I've just run out of things to say about this performance. It's simply terrible. That was a definite collision with Bernaldi. What does he think he's doing? I can't believe he's making the same basic errors over and over again. I just can't bear to watch anymore. Has he actually got his hands on the wheel at all? In case you've just switched over, you're just in time to see the worst drive I've ever seen in all my years as a Formula One commentator. In he comes to sit out his 10-second penalty. He's into the pit lane. This must be for his stop-go penalty. Of course, the stop-go penalty is far worse than its nominal 10 seconds halt. The pit lane speed limit means the drivers lose much more time than that. He's really hammering his brakes today. Those brakes are going to be glowing red hot now. That was a definite collision with Verstappen. No wonder those brake discs glow. They operate at around 700 degrees centigrade. Of course, these Formula One cars are capable of unbelievable braking forces. He just caught the back end. Oh, he had it sideways there. He's running wide on some of the corners. He seems to be sliding all over the place now. I think he's struggling to find grip on the bends. Looks like he's fighting the car much more than in the early part of the race. McLaren, Ferrari. That was a definite collision with Alonso. Jordan, Jaguar, Williams, Benetton, Prost, Sauber, Arrows, Minardi, BAR. And...
Tifosi go wild as their man passes the grandstand. The Tifosi cheer every time a Scarlet Ferrari races past. There's real support from the fans for Schumacher here at his native German Grand Prix. The fans are really behind Frentzen here at his native German Grand Prix. The young Nick Heidfeld has been getting a lot of support from his countrymen all weekend here in Germany. The Canadians have come out in droves to support their man, Villeneuve. The British fans have packed into Silverstone to support the home drivers, Button, Coulthard and Irvine. The Brazilian crowd will be hoping that their best prospect, Barrichello, can win here at Interlagos. That was a definite collision with Villeneuve. Here at Manicourt, the largely French crowd must surely be hoping for a victory from either one of Alain Prost's boys or one of the French drivers, Olivier Panis and Jean Alesi. The Italian home crowd have got their own nationals racing, Fisichella and Trulli, but their real support is for their beloved Ferrari. Finn, Mika Hakkinen, the former two-time world champion, is, of course, looking to regain his title this season. David Coulthard has had many Grand Prix victories with the McLaren team, but could this year see him win the world championship? Michael Schumacher levered the world title away from Ron Dennis's McLaren men in 2000. He's generally regarded as the best out there. Can he make it four world titles? Rubens Barrichello, the talented Brazilian, had a good debut 2000 season at Ferrari. Can he improve again and beat teammate Schumacher? Heinz Harold Frentzen is now well settled into Eddie Jordan's racing team. He's got the skill and experience to steer the ever-improving Jordan car into the points. Jarno Trulli drives alongside Frentzen to make up the Jordan team. The young Italian is undoubtedly a big star for the future. Eddie Irvine, the exuberant Irishman, has won Grand Prix for Ferrari. Can he repeat his success with Jaguar? Luciano Berti is another of the drivers making his full season debut in Formula One racing this year, although he stood in for Eddie Irvine when the Irishman went sick last year at the Austrian Grand Prix. That was a definite collision with Panis. Ralph Schumacher is driving for Frank Williams again this season. The younger brother of the current world champion will be looking to return Williams back to winning ways. Juan Pablo Montoya has a reputation that precedes him. Learned from his brilliant champ car successes. A lot's expected in 2001 from this new, very talented Formula One driver. Giancarlo Fisichella will once again be with Benetton this season, but can he beat his talented new teammate, Jensen Button? Jensen Button impressed everyone in his debut season last year. Can the young Englishman go one better and drive his way into podium positions this year? Jean Alesi's vast experience means that he's always a formidable force on the circuit, especially if conditions are wet. Let's hope the Prost team can overcome some of their reliability problems and give Alesi a more competitive car. Mazzacane's lack of experience is to his disadvantage. The Argentinian usually started from the back of the grid in 2000. Will 2001 see his luck change? Former Formula 3000 champion Nick Heidfeld had a poor 2000 season as a back runner. He really deserves to do better this year. Kimi Raikkonen is brand new to Formula 1. He's by far the least experienced driver on the grid. Let's hope he can adjust quickly to the competitive world of Grand Prix racing. Enrique Benoldi has got a lot of success in Formula 3000 behind him. Can he do the same in Formula One? Jos Verstappen partners Enrique Benoldi in the Arrows outfit. He's got the experience of more Grand Prix to his advantage and has a great natural talent. And there's heavy contact with Mika Hakkinen. Fernando Alonso had a great debut in Formula 3000 last year. How is he going to go in Formula One with Minardi? Former world champion Jacques Villeneuve is no stranger to the podium. This year, 
should see an improved BAR further up in the points. After a year test driving with McLaren, Olivier Panis is back in Formula One racing. This time with Craig Pollock's BAR team partnering Villeneuve. Will he capitalise on his excellent grid position in tomorrow's race? He's on pole, but can he get away first and then win the race? He's on pole and should have the advantage into the first corner of this circuit. This has been a great qualifying session for Hakkinen. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for David Coulthard. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Michael Schumacher. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? And there's heavy contact with David Coulthard. This has been a great qualifying session for Rubens Barrichello. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Frentzen. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Jarno Trulli. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Eddie Irvine. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Bertie. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Ralph Schumacher. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Juan Pablo Montoya. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Fissi Keller. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Jensen Button. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Jean Alesi. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? And there's heavy contact with Michael Schumacher. This has been a great qualifying session for Matsukane. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Raikkonen. Can he do as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Enrique Benoldi. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Verstappen. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Fernando Alonso. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This, this has been a great qualifying session for Olivier Panis. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? This has been a great qualifying session for Villeneuve. Can he drive as well in tomorrow's race? He's quicker through the first sector. And there's heavy contact with Frentzen. Sixth spot on the grid is taken up by... He's lost time through the first sector. He's quicker through the second sector. Well, he's lost time through the second sector. He's made up more time with a tidier third sector. Oh, he's lost time with an untidy third sector. He's lost more time in the third sector, and that's probably spoiled his lap. He crosses the line, and he's done a great time. He'll be disappointed with that time as he crosses the finish line. If he carries on like this, he'll surely win the race. If he can hold this position, he can look forward to six points. And there's heavy contact with Jano Trulli. If he stays third, he'll be on the podium. This fourth position could earn him three points. If he stays there, he'll get two points. Sixth place is enough to get him into the points. A fine reward for a great weekend. There he goes. He's got his work cut out now. He's back in the race at last. He's lost a lot of valuable time there. He laps another of the slower cars. The front runners are starting to lap him now. That's a step closer to the points he needs. There's heavy contact with Barrichello. He's moved up the leaderboard. That sees him move up the leaderboard. He's gained another place. Well, that looks like he's lost a wheel at the front. That'll be the end of his race. He might just be able to crawl back to the garage to replace that damaged wing. He's not going anywhere now. He's lost most of his wheels. Well, his race is over with damage like that. And it's a long walk back to the pits. That car is a write-off. A silly and very costly mistake. His car looks to be falling to pieces out there. 
I think his car's falling to pieces on the track. And there's heavy contact with Irvine. He's taken some terrible damage now and his car's literally falling to pieces. It looks like he's lost his front wing. No, his front wing's off. Lost a front wheel. One of his front wheels is off. No, one of his rear wheels is off. I think his car is falling to pieces. It's not going to last much longer now. Some heavy damage has been inflicted. I don't think his car will survive much more. I think that's his front wing gone. His rear wing is off. And there's heavy contact with Luciano Berti. Heavy damage to the front of the car there. His front wheel is off. That's his rear wing off. Heavy damage to the back of the car there. One of the rear wheels is off. And he exits the pits for the first time during this qualifying session. And out of the pits he comes to open his qualifying account. Out of the garage he comes to start his qualifying session. And out of the pits he comes, to, he's got his work cut out now. Welcome back to the race after that short break. And it's back to the action as we rejoin the race. Nothing much has happened since you were away, so let's get back to the race. And there's heavy contact with Ralph Schumacher. Welcome back. Right, welcome back. Let's get back to the action. He's managed to recover from that one quite well. Good recovery, but he's got a lot of catching up to do. He's got a lot of catching up to do after that spin. Can he do it, though? Let's see if he can catch back up to the field after that spin. That's 10 laps gone. 20 laps completed. 30 laps. 40 is now the number of laps completed. And there's heavy contact with Juan Pablo Montoya. The front runners have now completed 50 laps. And we're now on the last lap. This is the last lap of the race. The gap has stabilised. Indeed, it's increased a little. Have all retired so far? Retirements so far are all out. Are all retirements. The following drivers have all retired so far. First. And there's heavy contact with Giancarlo Fisichella. And in first position we have second. In second position we have third. In third position we have fourth. Fourth we have fifth. Fifth position is sixth and there's heavy contact with button and in sixth position we have and the final race order here at interlagos brazil is and and after a superb san marino grand prix here's the final order it's been a great start to the championship and here's the final order from the monaco grand prix and the final order from catalonia is now, the final race order from the A1 ring, Austria, is... It's been a very interesting Canadian Grand Prix, and here's the final order. We're nearly midway through the season, and here's the final order from Manicur. And there's heavy contact with John Alacy. Uh, here are the race results from the Nürburgring. We've had a superb weekend here at Silverstone, and what a race it's been. The final order is... It's been a very interesting German Grand Prix from the very fast Hockenheim circuit. And now it's time for the final race order. And now it's time for the final order here at the Hungaro Ring. And now it's time for the final race order from Spa. It's been an electrical Italian Grand Prix, as always. And Ferrari's colours have smothered the circuit all weekend. Let's just take a look at the final order. Now, with just one round remaining in the championship, let's take a look at the race results and see how things are affected in the Drivers' Championship. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Hakkinen's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Coulthard's day. And there's heavy contact with Matsukane. In seventh position is... I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Michael Schumacher's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Barrichello's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Frenson's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Trulli's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Irvine's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Bertie's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Ralph Schumacher's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Montoya's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Fisichella's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Button's day. And there's heavy contact with Heidfeld. 
I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Alesi's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Metsakani's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Heidfeldt's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Raikkonen's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Ben Oldie's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Verstappen's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Alonso's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Villeneuve's day. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's certainly not Panis's day. And there's heavy contact with Raikkonen. And there's heavy contact with Bernaldi. And there's heavy contact with Verstappen. And there's heavy contact with Alonso. Ter and there's heavy contact with Villeneuve. And there's heavy contact with Panis. Terrible collision with David Coulthard. Terrible collision with Mika Hakkinen. In seventh position is... Terrible collision with Michael Schumacher. Terrible collision with Barrichello. Terrible collision with Frentzen. Terrible collision with Jano Trulli. Terrible collision with Irvine. Terrible collision with Luciano Berti. Terrible collision with Ralph Schumacher. Terrible collision with Juan Pablo Montoya. Terrible collision with Fisichella. Terrible collision with Button. Is on row four and in seventh position. Terrible collision with Alacy. Terrible collision with Mazakane. Terrible collision with Heidfeld. Terrible collision with Raikkonen. Terrible collision with Bernaldi. Terrible collision with Verstappen. Terrible collision with Alonso. Yes, terrible collision with Jacques Villeneuve. Terrible collision with Olivier Panis. Is on row four and in seventh position. And he's just nudged Hakkinen's McLaren. He ran wide there. He didn't get the car close enough to the apex. That will cost him badly. And there's been some contact with David Coulthard. And there's been some contact with Michael Schumacher. He's just touched the Ferrari of Rubens Barrichello. And there's been some contact with Frentzen. And there's been some contact with Trulli. And there's been some contact with Eddie Irvine. And there's been some contact with Luciano Berti. And there's been some contact with Ralph Schumacher. Eighth, we see. And there's been some contact with Juan Pablo Montoya. And there's been some contact with Giancarlo Fisichella. And there's been some contact with Button. And there's been some contact with John Alacy. Gaston Mazakane has been hit from behind. And there's been some contact with Heidfeld. He's made slight contact with Raikkonen. And there's been some contact with Bernaldi. And there's been some contact with Jos Verstappen. Fernando Alonso could do nothing to prevent contact then. Eighth we see. In top spot we have... Again. And there's been some contact with Jack Villeneuve. And there's been some contact with Olivier Panis. He's rocketing away from the pit lane, anxious to get back into the race. He's away. How many race positions has he lost, I wonder? He can't wait to get back on the track. That penalty could cost him some valuable points today. Gets the signal and he's off to rejoin the race. He stops at the marker and waits 10 seconds, then they lift the lollipop. When you add the time it takes for the driver to come in, wait 10 seconds and then drive out of the pit lane, he actually loses closer to 25 seconds of time. Eighth. As he waits, the team are not allowed to touch the car. Very frustrating to sit in the pit knowing that when you exit, you'll have all that time to make up on the track. Hakkinen will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. David Coulthard will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Schumacher will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Barrichello will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Frentzen will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Truly will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Irvine will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Bertie will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Eighth. Ralph Schumacher will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Montoya will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Fisichella will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Button will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Alacy will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Matsukane will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Heidfeld will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Raikkonen will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Bernaldi will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Verstappen will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. In ninth. Alonso will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. 
He's in Villeneuve will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. Panis will be desperate not to stall the car. He's lost a lot of time already. He's a bit half-hearted there on the pit lane entry, and I bet he's lost two or three seconds as a result. Into the pits. He's losing valuable time by being too conservative. Here he is, entering the pits. Now, let's see how quickly the team can perform this stop. Old tyres off, new tyres on. Fuel nozzle lifted off. And then, as soon as the lollipop man is happy, he will signal the driver to exit the pit. In ninth spot. This team have spent a lot of time practicing pit stops, and practice has clearly made perfect. He's a bit slow entering the pit lane. He's being conservative so that he doesn't break the speed limit, which would then mean a 10-second stop-and-go penalty. No, don't do that. Oh, no. Look at that. Yes. No. I don't believe it. I've seen everything now. He needs to engage his brain before his transmission. In ninth. Yes. No. We're around the final corner, Murray. Mika Hakkinen. David Coulthard. Michael Schumacher. Rubens Barrichello. Heinz Harold Frentzen. Jano Trulli. Eddie Irvine. In ninth spot. Bertie. Ralph Schumacher. Montoya. Giancarlo Fisichella. Button. Jean Alesi. Matt Sakane. Heidfeld. Raikkonen. Bernaldi. It's 10th place for... Jos Verstappen, Alonso, Minardi, Jacques Villeneuve, Panis. Hold on, hang about. Oh, what's this? Look at that. Just a sec. It's 10th place for... Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Actually, Murray, sorry to interrupt, Murray. If I could just interrupt, Murray. Sorry to interrupt, Murray, but there's been developments. And Hakkinen comes into the pits. You can see DC making his way into the pits now. That's the Ferrari of Michael Schumacher. He's making his way into the pits. And Barrichello comes into the pits. Ten. And Frentzen makes his way into the pits. That's Truly making his way into the pits. That's Irvine making his way into the pits. Bertie comes into the pits. And Ralph Schumacher comes into the pits. Montoya comes into the pits. And Fisichella comes into the pits. And Jensen Button comes into the pits. And John Alacy comes into the pits. Matt Sakane comes into the pits. Tim, in top spot we have... Heidfeld comes into the pits. Raikkonen comes into the pits. And Bernaldi comes into the pits. And Jos Verstappen comes into the pits. Alonso is in for his stop. And, and Jack Villeneuve comes into the pits. And Panis comes into the pits. And Hakkinen comes into the pits. And David Coulthard comes into the pits. 11th for... And Barrichello comes into the pits. And Frentzen comes into the pits. Schumacher comes into the pits. And Truly comes into the pits. Irvine comes into the pits. Bertie comes into the pits. Ralph Schumacher comes into the pits. Montoya comes into the pits. Fisichella comes into the pits. Button comes into the pits. 11th for... John Alacy comes into the pits. Matt Sakane comes into the pits. Heidfeld comes into the pits. Raikkonen comes into the pits. Bernaldi comes into the pits. Verstappen comes into the pits. Alonso comes into the pits. That Villeneuve comes into the pits. Panis comes into the pits. Is in 11th place. That's Mika Hakkinen making his way into the pits. That's David Coulthard making his way into the pits. Michael Schumacher making his way into the pits. That's Barrichello making his way into the pits. That's Heinz Harold Frentzen making his way into the pits. That's Truly making his way into the pits. That's Irvine making his way into the pits. That's Bertie making his way into the pits. That's Ralph Schumacher making his way into the pits. That's Juan Pablo Montoya making his way into the pits. Is in 11th place. That's Fisichella. Making his way into the pits. That's Button. Making his way into the pits. That's John Alacy. Making his way into the pits. That's Matt Sakane. Making his way into the pits. That's Heidfeld. Making his way into the pits. That's Raikkonen. Making his way into the pits. That's Bernaldi. Making his way into the pits. That's Verstappen. Making his way into the pits. That's Alonso. Making his way into the pits. Mick 12th spot goes to... That's Jack Villeneuve making his way into the pits. That's Olivier Panis making his way into the pits. David Coulthard is in for his stop. Hakkinen is in for his stop. Michael Schumacher is in for his stop. Barrichello is in for his stop. Frentzen is in for his stop. Jano Trulli is in for his stop. Eddie Irvine is in for his stop. Bertie is in for his stop.
is in 12th. Ralph Schumacher is in for his stop. Juan Pablo Montoya is in for his stop. Fisichella is in for his stop. Button is in for his stop. John Alesi is in for his stop. Matsukane is in for his stop. Heidfeld is in for his stop. Raikkonen is in for his stop. Bernaldi is in for his stop. Verstappen is in for his stop. 12th spot goes to Alonso is in for his stop. His Villeneuve is in for his stop. Panis is in for his stop. And in for the first stop. He comes in for his second stop. Yes, Murray, a great disappointment for the driver as he's been running really well this weekend. And his lap times during the race so far have been superb. Back into the pits for his third stop. I'm not too sure whether the three-stop strategy was the right choice for this afternoon. Yes, Murray, he's not really been running too well throughout the race. And I think this problem sums up his whole weekend. An awful pit stop for the mechanics there. Is in 12th. And the team will not be happy with that pit stop. That's an absolutely awful pit stop for the team. The mechanics were very slow around the car and there seemed to be no coordination within the team. Yes, Murray, plenty of warning needs to be given to the mechanics and there seemed to be a major mix-up with the communication. It looked as though there were no tyres ready and a general disbelief that their driver was coming into the pits for his routine stop. I'm not sure who'll take the blame for this one, Murray. He's entered the pits, Murray, and as you can clearly see, the team mechanics are not ready. An uncharacteristic stop from the McLaren team there. Usually something that is well rehearsed by the team has gone horribly wrong. The Ferrari team have made a right mess of that pit stop. There were all kinds of mistakes during that pit stop then. That will have a big impact on the Jordan team's race. A bit sloppy there. There was no coordination from the Williams mechanics then. That was a terrible stop. The Benetton boys made a right mess of that pit stop. Is on row seven. The Prost team made a right mess of that pit stop. The Sauber mechanics will have some explaining to do after that stop. I can assure you that Peter Sauber is not going to be happy with that performance. Arrows made a right mess of that pit stop. Minardi made a right mess of that pit stop. BAR made a right mess of that pit stop. Oh no, he's broken the speed limit in the pits. The stewards will surely issue a stop and go penalty. Too fast down the pit lane. He'll get a stop and go penalty for that. As he makes his way into the pits, there seems to be some bodywork damage. The car seems to be suffering from major suspension trouble as he makes his way into the pits. I'm not really sure whether the mechanics can do much with the car during the race. This could well be the end of his race. As he comes in, Murray, it looks as though they're going to change the wets for slicks. Is on row seven. Second position is... In he comes and the team are standing by with slicks. The team is standing by with slicks. In he comes. I think it's time to take off the wets and change back to slicks. It looks as though they've opted for slicks again, but I'm not sure that's the right choice. Conditions have been pretty bad all afternoon and I don't think we've seen the last of the rain. Yes, Murray, this is definitely unscheduled, as you can see. There are no mechanics waiting to perform a routine stop. The question now is whether this is a major problem or whether they can get him back onto the circuit. That's a terrible error by the mechanics. You can see that not all of the tyres were ready for the change. This is going to be a very costly stop now. I'm not sure if there was something wrong with the tyre change or some sort of fuel hose problem, but you can't afford little mistakes during pit stops. It will be difficult for him to get back into this race. Makes his way into the pits for fuel. Superb stop. Excellent work by the mechanics. Excellent stuff from Ron Dennis's boys. That's a very quick stop indeed. Is in 13th. Cool, calm and collected. That's a very quick stop by the Ferrari mechanics. A superb stop for the Jordan team. And the Jaguar team with a very quick stop then. Superb pit stop for the Williams team. That was a very quick pit stop by the Benetton boys. Excellent job. Yes, Murray, excellent pit stop by the Prost team. And the Sauber team with a great pit stop there. Brilliant stuff. Great stop for Arrows. That's an excellent time. Yes, that's a very quick stop for Minardi. Excellent pit stop for BAR. Is in 13th. In he comes, and I think the team will go for wet tyres now. It has to be wet tyres during this stop, Murray. Conditions are deteriorating more and more, so I can't see any good reason to put slicks back on. The wet tyres are out. He's put that car just where the pit crew needs it. He's overshot a little bit. He stopped the car exactly where the mechanics need it and can work best. Well, that was a bit messy. He needs to practice these pit stops a bit more, I think. That is inch perfect. He needs to be careful not to stall the car, though. Oh, no, the mechanics have had to move because he drove into the pit too carelessly. That pit stop has cost him a place. 
14th place for... Well, after that pit stop, he slipped right down the field. Hakkinen has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. David Coulthard has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Michael Schumacher has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Barrichello has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Frentzen has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Truly has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Irvine has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Bertie has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Ralph Schumacher has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. 14th place for Montoya has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Giancarlo Fisichella has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Button has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. John Alacy has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Matt Sakane has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Heidfeld has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Raikkonen has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Bernaldi has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Verstappen has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Fernando Alonso has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. Is in 14th. Panic. Villeneuve has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. The leader pulls into the pits. Will he keep first position when he exits? He makes a pit stop whilst he's in second. Yes. Has kept his race position thanks to a very quick pit stop. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in third. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in fourth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in fifth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in sixth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in seventh. Is in fourteenth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in eighth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in ninth. He makes a pit stop whilst he's in tenth. Yes, Murray. The rain's been falling heavily throughout, and as you can see, lap times have suffered as a result. Yes, Murray. Drivers have had real trouble today on this slippery circuit. He's made a few silly mistakes during this lap. He really needs to compose himself a little. If he carries on like this, I'm not sure he will last the session. He really needs to be taking it a little easier this early on in the session. Hakkinen needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Coulthard needs to chill out a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. In 15th spot we have... Michael Schumacher needs to chill out a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Barrichello needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Frentzen needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Truly needs to calm down a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Irvine needs to cool it a bit. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Bertie needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Ralph Schumacher needs to calm down a bit. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Montoya needs to cool it a bit. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Fisichella needs to calm down a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Button needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. In 15th spot we have... Alessi needs to calm down a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Matsukane needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Heidfeld needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Raikkonen needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Bernaldi needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Verstappen needs to calm down a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Alonso needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Well, Villeneuve really needs to compose himself a little. He's making too many mistakes at the moment. Panis needs to compose himself a little. He really is making too many mistakes. In 15th spot. Yes, Murray. We saw some great driving towards the end of qualifying there, as lap times kept getting faster and faster. And the chequered flag means today's qualifying session is over. That's it, the end of today's qualifying. The drivers seem to be pushing hard early on in the session, Murray. A McLaren 1-2 after qualifying. It's a Ferrari 1-2 on the front of the grid. Jordan are first and second on the grid. And after qualifying, the lineup is as follows. We have both Jaguars on the front of the grid. And Williams have grabbed first and second place after qualifying. On the front of the grid, we have both Benettons. In 15th spot. Second position is... 
Prost first and second on the grid. And the Sauber team first and second on the grid. On the front of the grid, both arrows. Menardi first and second on the grid. The BAR cars take up first and second on the grid. There's around 10 minutes of this qualifying session to go. There's around 20 minutes of this qualifying session to go. There's around 30 minutes of this qualifying session remaining. There's about 40 minutes of this qualifying session to go. There's around 45 minutes of this qualifying session to go. 16th four. That's a great start by all the drivers. They're all away cleanly, Murray. Brilliant start, Murray. And it's a brilliant start by Mika Hakkinen. Excellent reaction time by David Coulthard. He was surely first away. And Michael Schumacher makes a great start. What an excellent start for Rubens Barrichello. Heinz Harald Frentzen makes an excellent start. He was surely first off the grid. What a great start by Jano Trulli. A mega start for Eddie Irvine. Bertie with another excellent getaway. He's been working hard on these starts throughout the winter break and it's surely paying off now. 16th four. And it's a flying start for Ralph Schumacher. That's Juan Pablo Montoya making an excellent start as the lights go out. Giancarlo Fisichella with an excellent start. That's Jensen Button making an excellent start as the lights go out. That's John Alesi with a flying start. Matt Sakane makes an excellent start. His pros shot off the grid like a champagne cork out of a bottle. Heidfeld with a superb start. An excellent start by Kimi Raikkonen. That's an excellent start by Bernaldi. Excellent start by Jos Verstappen. Is in 16th spot. Fernando Alonso will be happy with that start. Excellent reactions from lights out. Olivier. That's an excellent start for Jacques Villeneuve. Olivier Panis makes an excellent start. Yes, he's gone too early, Murray. I think you're absolutely right, Murray. I'm sure we'll see a stop-go penalty issued by the officials within the next few laps. That's a terrible mistake. He will surely receive a stop-go penalty for that jump start. Definitely, but I think he's made a jump start there, Murray. We'll have to wait and see what the officials do, but my view is that it was a jump start. Hakkinen's made a jump start. DC's gone too soon. He was away before the lights were out, and he's surely going to receive a 10-second stop-and-go penalty now. Is in 16th spot. Michael Schumacher makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. The worst of luck for Barrichello. He was a little bit quick at the start there, and I'm sure we'll see a stop-go penalty issued within the next couple of laps. Frentzen makes a jump start. Diano Trulli makes a jump start. Irvine makes a jump start. Bertie makes a jump start. Ralph Schumacher makes a jump start. Montoya makes a jump start. Fisichella makes a jump start. Button makes a jump start. Takes up 17th place. Alesi makes a jump start. Matsukane makes a jump start. Heidfeld makes a jump start. Raikkonen makes a jump start. Bernaldi makes a jump start. Jos Verstappen makes a jump start. Fernando Alonso makes a jump start. Mick Jack Villeneuve makes a jump start. Olivier Panis makes a jump start. Takes up 17th place. Kahakinen makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. David Coulthard makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Michael Schumacher makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Rubens Barrichello makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Heinz Harald Frentzen makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Jano Trulli makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Eddie Irvine makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Luciano Berti makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Ralph Schumacher makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Montoya makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. In 17th. Fisichella makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Button makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. John Alesi makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Matsukane makes an uncharacteristic mistake. 
He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Heidfeld makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Kimi Raikkonen makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Bernaldi makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Verstappen makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Alonso makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Hack in 17th. Villeneuve makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. Panis makes an uncharacteristic mistake. He's surely blown any chance of a place on the podium with that jump start. David Coulthard made a jump start. Kinnan's made a jump start. Schumacher's made a jump start. Barrichello made a jump start. Frentzen's made a jump start. Trulies made a jump start. Irvine's made a jump start. Luciano Berti made a jump start. 18th for Ralph Schumacher's made a jump start. Montoya made a jump start. Physic Ellers made a jump start. Button made a jump start. Alasis made a jump start. Matsukane made a jump start. Heidfeld made a jump start. Raikkonen made a jump start. Bernaldi made a jump start. Verstappen made a jump start. 18th position for second on the grid is Fernando Alonso made a jump start. Olivier Villeneuve made a jump start. Now, how much fuel are they putting in? In goes the refueling nozzle. That hose weighs over 40 kilos and pumps fuel in at 12 litres per second. Olivier Panis made a jump start. That fuel nozzle equipment is pretty heavy. That's why it takes two men to hold it in position as the fuel flows into the car. How much fuel are they putting in? This is where team tactics come into play. Quite a lot of fuel going in this time. Quite a bit of fuel going in there. Of course it adds crucial time to the pit stop so the team have to calculate how much fuel they need very accurately. 18th position for... They haven't put very much fuel in at this stop. Not much fuel going in this time. He may need to stop again before the end of the race. Off comes the damaged wing. The old nose cone is off. On goes the new wing. Here's the new nose cone. All four wheels are off. Here come the replacements. New wheels and tyres all round, please. Four new tyres. On go the new tyres. 18th four. Off with the old and on with the new. He's timed this tyre stop well. Those old tyres are just beginning to blister. Opting for wets will benefit his lap times enormously in these deteriorating conditions. Well, a new set of groove slicks will bring the lap times down. Here we go with new tyres. It looks to be the end of his race, Murray. That's the end of his race. He looks to have a mechanical problem. Here comes the safety car. The safety car is joining the track. This safety car is going to give them time to clear up the mess and then restart the race. Well, I'm glad the race hasn't been stopped. They've sent out the safety car. In 19th spot is... The safety car has joined the track and the speed of all the drivers drops as they form a queue behind it. Use of the safety car allows the marshals greater safety and more time to clear the obstruction. When the safety car's lights go out, it will pull into the pits at the end of the lap and the race is back on. Fortunately, they are deploying the safety car instead of stopping the race. Yes, Murray, I've not seen a crash like that for some time now. I hope everyone involved is OK. That looks to be an awful accident. As you can see for yourself, the marshals are quickly onto the track checking the drivers and making sure everything is okay. Yes, Murray, the drivers are getting out of their cars and we shall surely see the safety car any minute now. Yes, Murray, if he can prevent the car from stalling, then he has a chance of reaching the pits. I'm not sure his mechanics will be able to do much with that car, though. I think his hopes of a good finish have faded now. That's Mika Hakkinen. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. And DC hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's OK. In 19th spot is... That's Michael Schumacher. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That looks to be a dreadful impact for Rubens Barrichello's Ferrari. That's Frentzen. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. And Jarno truly could do nothing to avoid that dreadful impact with the wall. That's Irvine's car. He could do nothing to prevent that impact then. Let's just hope he's OK. That's Luciano Berti. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Ralph Schumacher. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Juan Pablo Montoya. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Giancarlo Fisichella's Benetton. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Jensen Button. 
He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. 19th. That's the Prost of Alessi. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Matt Sakane. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Heidfeld. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Raikkonen. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Bernaldi. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Jos Verstappen. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's Alonso. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. That's, that's Jack Villeneuve. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. It's Olivier Panis. He's off and that looks to be a massive accident. 19th. Mika Hakkinen hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. David Coulthard hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Michael Schumacher hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Barrichello hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Frentzen hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Truly hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Irvine hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Bertie hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Ralph Schumacher hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Montoya hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. 20th is... Fisichella hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Button hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Alacy hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Matsukane hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Heidfeld hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Raikkonen hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Bernaldi hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Verstappen hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Alonso hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Yes. Yeah. 20th is... Villeneuve hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. Olivier Panis hits the wall. That was a very big impact. Let's hope he's okay. He needs to slow his speed right down now and hope that the tyre stays intact so as not to damage any of the bodywork on his car. If he makes it back to the pits, then it should be a pretty routine stop for his mechanics. He has a puncture. Has he left the track at some point? Or is it due to debris that's been picked up on the track? He's got a puncture. You can see him struggling to get the car back to the pits. What he needs to do now, though, is keep his speed down because the last thing he wants to do is to shred the tyre any more and damage the bodywork. He seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping the car under control, though. Yes, Murray, you can see the tyre is shredded quite a lot and it's almost down to the wheel rim. I think this is his race over, Murray. Yes, Murray, that's a dreadful accident and I think he may have picked up a puncture whilst at top speed. I don't think anyone would have been able to have controlled such a spin. Let's hope everything's okay, Murray. Just a very light fuel load this time. Just a splash and dash. That's just enough fuel to keep him in the race. 24. Splash and dash then. He's in and out of the pit in no time. Oh no, he stalled the engine. All the hard work has been thrown away in that careless moment. Off he goes at last. A modern Formula One car uses aerofoils to create downforce. These work like upside-down aeroplane wings by actually pushing the car onto the track, producing greater grip. The carbon fibre disc brakes in Formula 1 are capable of decelerating a car from 230 km per hour to just 70 kph in less than 3 seconds. Forces of up to 4G are often encountered during braking. The 3-litre 10-cylinder Formula 1 engines are capable of producing around 800 horsepower and an RPM of up to 17,500. That's eight times the power of a normal family car. The driver sits in the monocoque or tub as it's sometimes called. This capsule is made from carbon fibre, which is five times lighter than steel, but yet twice as strong. This protects the driver in the event of serious impact. Every Formula One car contains at least one kilometre of electronic cabling. The cars contain computer systems that provide race engineers with valuable real-time information. It's called telemetry. This data can help the mechanic spot possible problems whilst the car is still on the track. Formula One is the most expensive motorsport to compete in. The cars themselves can cost up to £1 million to build. 
Then there are the design and running costs to consider, not to mention the drivers. Sponsorship is vital to a team's existence if they are to meet all of these costs. 20 for second on the grid is... Yes, Murray, this has been an excellent Australian Grand Prix. Yes, we've seen some thrilling racing here at the beautiful Sepang Circuit in Malaysia. Yes, we've seen some superb racing here at Interlagos, Brazil. It's always such a competitive race as teams are still trying to find their feet at the start of the season. Yes, we've seen a very interesting race for a number of teams here at Imola. Yes, we've seen some excellent racing here at Catalonia. Yes, Murray, there's been some excellent racing here today from the A1 ring in Austria. Yes, Murray, a superb race once again around the streets of Monaco. This circuit always contains many surprises and once again we have not been disappointed. What a very entertaining race it's been. Yes, this has been a very interesting race at the Montreal Street Circuit in Canada. Yes, the new Nürburgring is not what it used to be, but it still manages to churn out some superb racing and plenty of incidents. With only two rounds to go, the drivers at the top of the championship are fighting for maximum points as they try to remove the crown from Hakkinen's head. Yes, Murray, once again we've seen another great race weekend at Manicor. There have been very few incidents, and we've seen plenty of competitive action by pretty much all of the teams. On to the back of the grid now, and in 21st place we have... Yes, we've seen another very interesting and tense British Grand Prix from Silverstone. We've seen some great racing around the Hockenheim circuit this afternoon. Things will really be hotting up in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. Yes, Murray, the Hungarian Grand Prix has been a race with mixed emotions, as teams have struggled to get their cars to the finish line. We've seen some excellent and competitive racing, but we've also seen some costly mistakes. This is what Formula One is all about. Yes, we've seen some thrilling racing here at Spa. It's actually been a fantastic race, and once again we have had unpredictable weather to add to all the confusion. Excellent stuff. Yes, we've had the passion of the Italian fans all weekend, and once again the atmosphere's been superb at the Monza circuit. It's what a great season this has been, Murray. It's been another thrilling and competitive race here at Suzuka and once again the season has come to a close. All we can do now is wait until next year and hopefully enjoy the same level of close racing. Driving conditions are almost impossible out there at the moment. The rain is falling very, very hard and as you can see the visibility is down to around 100 metres as spray is launched up from all four tyres started to rain around the circuit now and it looks as though the stewards have seen enough the race has been stopped the visibility is really poor at the moment and conditions are pretty much impossible for the drivers out there in 21st place it looks as though the sun is going to come back out this should make racing conditions very interesting as there will soon be a mixture of wet and slick tires out there the rain has stopped murray and it looks as though the sun is going to come back out and the marshals are waving their yellow flags there must be some sort of obstruction up ahead. The drivers need to be very careful now. That's the yellow flag. As you can see, the yellow flags are being waved. Drivers need to take care as there must have been an incident up ahead. The drivers need to be careful now as the yellow flags are being waved. He's having a great drive today. He's cool, calm and collected. His concentration can't be broken. Hagenham is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. On to the back of the grid now. And in 21st place we have... David Coulthard is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Schumacher is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Barrichello is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Heinz Harold Frensen is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Trulli is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Irvine is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Bertie is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Ralph Schumacher is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Montoya is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Giancarlo Fisichella is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. In 21st place, Button is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Alessi is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Mazzacani is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Heidfeld is doing really well here. 
He seems to be in complete control. Raikkonen is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Bernaldi is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Verstappen is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Fernando Alonso is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. He's Villeneuve is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. And last on the grid is Panis is doing really well here. He seems to be in complete control. Well, I predict that he'll be taking the win, unless, of course, something goes wrong first. Not that I'd wish that on him. Not going to settle for anything less than a podium position. He's having the race of his life out there. Surely looking at a win now could well be on the podium. If he gets past the car in front, he'll be in the points. He'll be lucky to finish in the points. He's so far behind the pack that finishing will be an achievement in itself. It doesn't look like a points finish. He's well behind now. I think we can discount him from serious contention. And last on the grid is... No chance for him now. No points today. He's moving through the field. He's catching up. They're starting to catch him. Unfortunately, he won't take any further part in this race. Leading the Constructors' Championship is... Leading the Constructors' Championship is... Heading the Constructors' Championship is... Moving into top place in the Constructors' Championship is... And last but not least on the grid is... Second place in the Constructors' Championship is... Second place in the Constructors' Championship are... Move up into second place. Dropping back into second place is are in third place. Are in third place. Moving into third is moving down into third place is in fourth position is are fourth. And last but not least on the grid is moving up into fourth place is move back down into fourth. Fifth in the Constructors' Championship are in fifth move up into fifth place. Dropping down into fifth place is... Let's take a look at the Constructors' Championship table. There was heavy contact then. A very heavy impact there. Let's hope he's OK. And he's off. There was definite contact with the wall there, Martin. Oh, no, he's been overtaken by Hakkinen. There's a heavy collision. That was a heavy collision then. That's a massive impact with the wall. That was a dreadful impact with the wall. Let's hope he's OK. That was a terrible collision with Hakkinen's McLaren. There was heavy contact with Coulthard's McLaren. There's been a crash. Let's hope Michael Schumacher's OK after that collision. That's a heavy collision with Barrichello. That's a heavy collision with Heinz Harold Frensen. That's a heavy collision with Trulli. Oh, no, he's been overtaken by David Coulthard. Taking up third position is... He's collided with Irvine. That's a heavy collision with Bertie. Ralph Schumacher's been hit. That was a massive collision. There's been a collision with Montoya. He flies into the back of Fisichella. That's a heavy collision with Button. That's a heavy collision with Jean Alesi. He's made heavy contact with Matsukani. There's been a collision with Heidfeld. He's made heavy contact with Raikkonen. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Schumacher. There was a heavy collision with Bernoldi. He's collided with Verstappen. That's a heavy collision with Alonso. That that's a heavy collision with Villeneuve. That's a heavy collision with Panis. That was a terrible collision with Hakkinen. That was a terrible collision with Schumacher. That was a terrible collision with Barrichello. That was a terrible collision with David Coulthard. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Barrichello. That was a terrible collision with Heinz Harold Frensen. That was a terrible collision with Trulli. That was a terrible collision with Irvine. That was a terrible collision with Bertie. That was a terrible collision with Ralph Schumacher. That was a terrible collision with Montoya. That was a terrible collision with Giancarlo Fisichella. That was a terrible collision with Button. That was a terrible collision with Jean Alesi. That was a terrible collision with Matsukani. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Heinz Harold Frensen. That was a terrible collision with Heidfeld. That was a terrible collision with Raikkonen.
That was a terrible collision with Bernoldi. That was a terrible collision with Verstappen. That was a terrible collision with Fernando Alonso. We that was a terrible collision with Villeneuve. That was a terrible collision with Panis. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Hakkinen. We have contact. He's just run into the back of David Coulthard. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Trolley. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Schumacher. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Barrichello. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Frenson. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Trolley. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Irvine. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Bertie. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Ralph Schumacher. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Montoya. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Giancarlo Fisichella. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Button. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Irvine. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Sean Lacey. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Matt Sakani. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Heidfeld. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Raikkonen. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Bernoldi. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Verstappen. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Fernando Alonso. He's we have contact. He's just run into the back of Villeneuve. We have contact. He's just run into the back of Panis. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Bertie. He's collided with David Coulthard. Collided with Hakkinen. He's collided with Schumacher. He's collided with Barrichello. He's collided with Frenson. He's collided with Trolley. He's collided with Irvine. He's collided with Bertie. He's collided with Ralph Schumacher. He's collided with Montoya. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Ralph Schumacher. He's collided with Giancarlo Fisichella. He's collided with Button. He's collided with Sean Lacey. He's collided with Matt Sakani. He's collided with Heidfeld. He's collided with Raikkonen. He's collided with Bernoldi. He's collided with Verstappen. He's collided with Fernando Alonso. There's oh no, he's been overtaken by Montoya. He's collided with Villeneuve. He's collided with Panis. There's been a collision with Hakkinen. There's been a collision with David Coulthard. There's been a collision with Schumacher. There's been a collision with Barrichello. There's been a collision with Heinz Harold Frenson. There's been a collision with Trulli. There's been a collision with Irvine. There's been a collision with Bertie. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Giancarlo Fisichella. There's been a collision with Ralph Schumacher. There's been a collision with Montoya. There's been a collision with Giancarlo Fisichella. There's been a collision with Button. There's been a collision with Jean Alesi. There's been a collision with Matt Sakani. There's been a collision with Raikkonen. There's been a collision with Heidfeld. There's been a collision with Bernoldi. There's been a collision with Verstappen. Oh no, he's been overtaken by Button. In third.